We still have two lectures coming up, and uh, I look very forward to welcome the next presenter to the stage, with, which is uh, who is uh, Yvette Vasurkova. Vasurkova. Thank you. Thank you. Vasurkova. Um, I should learn it, um, especially Czech language. I should learn it. Yeah. Um, well, um, uh, Yvette is a founder of the Center for Central European Architecture and, MOBAS, and of MOBA Studio. So um, the mission of CCEAMOBA is to empower local communities and advance the public good. And this is like um, a very well agenda and very well fitting to this uh, four section. And um, well, just to, some more um, quick notes. Of course, it's of uh, the the methods to mediate between top down and bottom up, uh, and uh, some bi biographical notes. Um, she studied architecture um, at the technical uh, Czech Technical University in Prague. Um, she did also um, postgraduate studies in uh, Rotterdam at the Belage Institute, and she uh, obtained her PhD in 2018. As far as our Informations are right, and um, she is currently a faculty member of Archip in Prague. So please, Yvette, proceed to the stage, and the floor is yours. And be very excited to hear. I hope Harald Kegler is still there. No, because no. it's about a magistrale. Well, <laughs> so thank you, thank you very much for having me. Uh, and uh, also it's a pleasure to be here and thank you the organizers to invite me and I'm very it's a really pleasure for me to be between uh, the Central European thinkers and uh, I always feel the best in that environment so I will talk uh, today about the uh, Prague Magistral as uh, Robert said Harald was yesterday already presenting a bit about uh, the Magistrala Magistrala in Halle and of course why we talk also about about these structures because they are also an important heritage structures of the second half of the 20th century, especially from 70s and 80s, uh, the time period. So I would like to, I, the whole presentation is more like, of course, it's about the future, it's about optimism. So I will more talk, but to go there, I would uh, first like to show you and a little bit go to the history of the Prague specific uh, structure, the Magistrala, which you can also call Süd Nord Transversale, which was the original tra title of that uh, um, traffic uh, axis or artery. Uh, we are crossing really the heart of the historical center, so really the border, the former fortress of the 14th century. And uh, that also make this uh, road or this uh, highway yeah. very specific. Uh, I would first talk about how we actually went from Boulevard to the urban highway, which is the first period uh, uh, started in the 20s where Prague uh, was still, of course, uh, controlled by kind of thinkers and architects, urbanists, in some kind of traditional way and uh, educated. And uh, you can see that, you know, Prague, to understand a little bit why we have this kind of transversal is because Prague was actually till 60s uh, occupied by the concept of the grid as the main traffic system, but then came in the 80s, the new idea of creating the, uh, the circles. We have, in the end, 2015 completed the inner circle, but we are still missing uh, the north part of the uh, large uh, metropolitan circle of the traffic, which also make a bit complicated the whole situation of the Magistrale. You can see that Magistrale as a kind of concept is actually not coming from 70s, but on, from 30s. And uh, here just a few images to understand how it actually turned from the boulevard concept as an idea uh, still designed by the urbanists, if you can call them this way, to more through kind of technical and more technical designs to these uh, results where we are in 
the beginning of the 70s. And uh, the, the Magistrala was actually completed in 78. So unfortunately, already with completely new technocratic design. Uh, I'm, I have on this picture the bridge over the Nusalski uh, Bridge, which is over the valley, which was also important was to complete the idea of the axis from south to the north. Important is that through this bridge, or from south to the north, you actually get from Brünn or Brno to Prague. That's very important as it's a kind of very continu continuation line of the traffic. Uh, so this is actually what we achieved. This is the change from the 19th century idea of the boulevard to the highway situation next to the main station. Of course, we have a lot of critic, criticism. This is a nice, uh, important uh, artist who was uh, dealing very much with the criticism of the highways in the 60s, in the time that we were actually designing it. And uh, when we go now, so now we are in the... Now we are in the year 20, uh, in the 21st century, where we again want from these urban highways what we want to do back boulevards. So that's very good, of course. That's a very good gesture what we are trying now to do. Of course, why? Because the Magistral is actually separating, and it's not only the Magistrala in Prague, it's in other cities, and it's a, the big problem of separating the different neighborhoods. Uh, here we are really, you can see the really direct city center of Prague. And uh, when we started as architect, urbanist, activist, actually, to work on this project, it was when came out this idea of so-called humanization of Magistrala with the bridge, with the solution of, again, technical uh, solution with the uh, kind of tunnel around the museum. And then uh, when we started to say, no, we have to, like, think about the new way of seeing the boulevard and not to see another technical solutions or uh, infrastructural gesture on the magistral. So I will go now fast. Of course, we already talk about activism, but we also, we really, we also started with that uh, different interventions together with artists, residents, to, to gain attention of the media, of the public, of the politicians. And uh, from these kind of small gestures, uh, different, uh, more formal, less formal uh, conferences and discussions, we came to, for instance, we unify the mayors uh, to more, and then we test, we make some tests on the more like 19th century uh, part of the magistrala, you know, which is the Ipe Pavlova. And these tests were very important. Uh, we always work and collaborated with uh, important artists. This is Patrick. Hubble, who made this kind of uh, large 400 square meter painting. And uh, we had about 100 institutions, organizations, locals who participated in the support of changing the magistral or that space, which actually then we did another action. So, you know, this is like 10 years of the work, step by step. And uh, then we start to talk about the pollution. This is actually the most polluted spot in the whole Czech Republic. And then we talk about who, is, who has the priority, if the citizens or the cars. And then we actually manage a little step. Actually, the city designed this kind of transformation of that site. But that was actually not, of course, that's not enough. So then we started in 2021 in the already officially for the institute of planning uh, we prepared a study together with the agps architecture uh, uh, office our colleagues from switzerland and uh, we go back to the bigger scale of the prague and we focus actually on the really on the part which is from the main station uh, crossing the river that's also the part which is completely uh, the part initiated or designed it in the 70s. So we go very quickly back for you to understand how it really uh, crosses, cross the city. And now we start to think how we can actually use this structure to, and how it can be in, uh, livable for the city. So you have here, when we zoom in, a bit to understand where where is our main intervention, then you can see that the whole kind of project or the whole idea is not only about working on the magistral but also under it. So when I go 
around this, our 70s structure, and I would like to talk about uh, the exactly places for community interaction. So we don't only talk about the nature, but we have to, if we want to have the interaction, we also have to have the program. What is uh, interesting on the structure that you can use the underground spaces very easily for different program. Important is that the program will be affordable program for the local communities because so far it was nobody wanted that places. So this is kind of places which could be really in the city center used for the public. So you can of course transform these all spaces and uh, that's kind of interesting section how you can you know inhabit the spaces under the magistrala and also of course you will go and you can start to think about how you can inhabit the places on and magistrala. So, uh, we a little bit jump, doesn't matter. So, uh, political, uh, yeah, politics of traffic. This is the, actually our main, uh, today, uh, problem of the magistral is who are actually the voters, uh, they are politicians, they still believe that their voter is the car driver. And, but you know, this situation is changing. So when we go, uh, for the project, very fast, so of course we would like uh, in the future to talk about the 30 kilometer per hour on Magistrala, and now I will go very fast, of course there are some important changes to get to the boulevard from the highway, and these are now step by step, I will show you some of the transformations which of course they are not done yet, but that's the plan, or hopefully ideal plan. And uh, the new viaduct uh, revisited will be now in a uh, few last slides. I will show you how, you know, what is the main problem, of course, of the ma magistral that it was not meant to communicate in between that two zones. So when we go, that's what we are, need to implement are this kind of new, staircases, vertical communication. So these are very important new elements for uh, Magistrala to be with it. And of course, what is important, really architectonically think about all the sections because the sections are changing and you know, to think about how we can implement and make activ activate the whole space and make it useful for people and public and citizens as, uh, and tourists, etc. So this is kind of our proposal which is step by step uh, officially uh, accepted, but not yet officially accepted to the point that we are able to go to the next step. So we are still on the study level, but uh, hopefully in future we are able to to get to the next step. And why is it important, this whole topic, to open this topic is actually because all these structures, they are really, there was kind of a lot of energy to build them. This, for instance, specific, our part is, uh, consists of nine tons of steel and a lot of concrete. And it's very important to start to think how we can use the structure for, as a livable structure for the citizen and not only as a structure for traffic and cars. So thank you very much.